everyone, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway. And I'm here with my weekly makeup basket. I am so sorry I left you guys high and dry last week. I was ill. <laughs> I had a like a little cold that turned into a sinus infection and I was out for a week. I missed work for most of the week, missed all my fitness classes and personal training. Like it was rough and I only wore makeup for two days so I was like you know what I'm just gonna take it easy and enjoy the basket a little bit longer so so sorry about that I really appreciate the comments people reaching out asking where I was and where my basket was and uh, wishing me well wishes so thank you guys so much so in front of you is a basket from two weeks ago I'll have that video linked down below as you can see I picked a ton of products and I was really enjoying them and like I said last week I only got to use them two times so I've really been enjoying getting a lot of use out of the products this week so we're gonna go through and put this basket away and then go through my collection and pick the items for next week so if this sounds like something you would like to watch then just keep watching here we go all right how you guys doing how you doing I um it's Wednesday per usual filming this <clears throat> and some of these products I do want to use for a couple more days so I'm just gonna sit them to the side and then some of these will stay in here as well so this uh, Too Faced uh, Stardust Vegas Nay Palette this is a really Old. When I say really old, I think it's like two or three years old. Um, but I did really enjoy it. I got a lot of use out of Chandelier. I mixed Millennium and Girls Night together for my crease. I really enjoyed Gold Nugget all over the lid of my eye. And then I would put Showgirl on the outer edge. And I really enjoyed that one, two, three, four, five colors. I played a little bit with Selfie in the strip and Pink Pearl. Um, I wasn't too impressed from the couple times I used them, but um, I did enjoy it. So I will use this for a couple more days and then put it back. Let's see. I'm going to keep this in. I'm basically going to keep everything in this little corner in. I'm going to just set my project pan items to the side. I did post a project pan update on Tuesday, so I'll link that down below in case you missed it. Um, I'm going to put back the two MAC limited edition products, but I will use them for a couple more days before they go back into my collection. Um, Hourglass always stays in here. I really enjoy this Too Faced uh, Sweetheart or whatever it's called, uh, Peach Beach Blush. This is, it was nice. Um, it's not as illuminating and glittery as I thought it would be, but it was nice. So I will use this for a couple more days and then put it back. Um, Project P and I, I'm going to set that to the side. This Ciate one, uh, there was like a overspray, like a shimmery overspray. And as you can see, like it's almost come off. So I feel like it's going to be a different type of blush once that's off. I didn't realize that was an overspray. So I wonder if it's going to take a lot of the sheen away. But this one is in Summer Love sit that to the side but I will again pull it for or use it a couple more days I'm going to leave these two mascaras in I'm going to leave my brow pencil in I'm going to leave the cover FX powder in I know my Urban Decay is going to stay in these two primers I think I'll put back and pull something else I spoiler alert <laughs> I finished that primer I was panning, so now I have full range to use whatever primers I want. So I might end up pulling one of these again, but I'm going to sit them to the side and just see what happens. And then this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, I will, um, I will put back for the week. So, okay, let's talk about this pure <laughs> bronze and brightened I was so scared to use this and one day I was like I'm going for it and I used all three of these and I actually really like how it turned out the bronzer let me just say I did the bronzer then the blush and the highlight is not as like intimid intimidating as it looks but these two I definitely had to like dull down a little bit with my hourglass powder so 
I mean, you can make them work. It wasn't as scary as I thought it would be, but I will put this back and pull it again later. And then I'll leave my Maya Mia in. It is a project pan item. So let's go down to the face drawer and just see what happens for this week. All right, so as you can see, I, okay, how do I say this? One week, my boyfriend bought me a item that I will show you on my next drawer. Um, so that didn't really break the no buy because he's like, girl, I'm going to buy you makeup. And who am I to say no to that? And then this, this right here, this was me. I was, I went a week of December, all of January, a week ish into February. It's February 7th. That's a week. Seven days is a week. Um, and I thought I would break it just for this product, but I'm back on. I'm back on guys. I promise. But this is one, this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. And this one came out a couple summers ago and I was always so interested in it then and I never picked it up. And then it has been re released and it is very hard to find. I found mine at Walmart and it is under, it's like under $12, I think $11.90 something. Um. I did get the color medium because they were out of light and deep was too dark, but I was comparing it to some of the other bronzers I own. Like this one really reminds me of a uh, Tarte Park Avenue Princess. And as you can see, the Tarte one, they're so freaking similar. The Tarte one's almost a little darker. So let me swatch. I was swatching them the other day when I got it. So, well, okay, I bought it yesterday. So six days almost a week <laughs> all right so let's see how we're gonna do this right here is the tart and then right here is obviously the the l'oreal and i think they look so similar like you might have to build this one up just a little bit more but look how similar those are i am impressed so I'm definitely going to pull that for the week and you know what I'm not even mad that I broke my no buy for this but we're back on it all right so pulling this bronzer for sure for the week and I'm panning too it's gonna be like a bronzer heavy week but we'll get we'll get through it this too shall pass <laughs> um okay so for primer what do I want pull the steel one this is the one step one step prime um prep smooths and nourishes i've used this a couple of times but i haven't really given it a good juice by itself i've used it maybe just once or twice so i'm gonna focus on this for a full week and i do like that it is a pump and it's also like an airless pump so you know you're gonna get everything out of it so we got primer. As far as foundation, these two are my winter colors and they're both halfway full. Um, they're not in projects, but I'm thinking for sake of finishing some of these foundations because I definitely want to finish these two and my Tarte one by the end of winter because I don't want them to sit for six months the wrong color, especially because I will have to focus. I want to focus on these. Um which are my winter or summer color. So, which one do I wanna like really pan? With it being halfway through, I think that's probably like three or four weeks of pulling it consistently. And, I don't know. Um, you can see like that's, I took off the pump and looked inside to see how much, and that's pretty much a fair representation of what's left in it. Um, I'm gonna go with the True Match Lumi. This one is in N1 Neutral Classic Ivory. This one's older, um, not by much, maybe by like three months, but I think I want to use the older item before this one, because this one, <sighs> I mean, they're only like three months, maybe six months apart in age. <laughs> but this has been in my collection a long time, and not this particular one, but I had one that was too dark that it, I bought during the summer and then it was wrong for the winter. So I gave that to my cousin and then purchased this in this color. So I've had this 
foundation formula in my collection for years. And so it would feel good even though this one is only like six to eight months old. I I feel like it would like bring some sort of joy to my heart. <laughs> If I actually used up a L'Oreal True Match Lumi, so I will focus on this. I've kind of gone back and forth. I like this. I just don't like it's kind of stays a little bit tacky on the skin for a while, even after you set it. That's like my biggest downfall because it's almost like a greasy feeling. I don't really appreciate that, but the finish of it is nice. I like what it looks like on the skin and the color is good, and it is a nice foundation. I think I enjoy the Pro Glow better, honestly. But anyways, I will use that and I'll probably just keep pulling that for the next few weeks until it's gone. And I know my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea over here, um, the way I use it is probably halfway gone as well. But anyways, um, so that is good for bronzer, primer, foundation. And I... I think that's going to be it for this drawer. I think I'm good on these little skincare samples. The one that I use, that serum I pulled like a, three or four weeks ago, it still has a good bit of product in it. Um, actually, let me pull this mask. This is Multivitamin Power Recovery Mask by Dermalogica. I've never tried anything from them. And um, it's only 10 or 15 minutes once per week. So yeah, I will pull this and I'm really trying to get through all these, but I'm not I'm not in any hurry, you know, but all right, that is all for this drawer. Let's move up to the next one. Okay, highlighters and blushes. I love it. So we have two blushes in a project pan and we did not keep any from last week so we're we're going in this is the one that where I'm trying to use up or not use up but like use it or lose it so let's go in with sugar bomb by benefit this is what it looks like and let's see like a swatch of it oh it's peach Okay, so it's like a, if you can see it right here, it's like a peach little sheen to it. So, yeah. I'm gonna go in with that for the week. I want a few options, basically, so that's one that's good from here. This is what my, I picked up when my boyfriend's like, girl, we're gonna get you some makeup. This is Maybelline Master Chrome. And this is the one in Molted Rose Gold. And this in the uh, L'Oreal Bronzer. Those are two things off my wish list that I've been talking about. And I haven't added anything new to it. So um, that's why I'm not showing it to you guys. But I really wanted to pick this up. It was really calling my attention. So this is what it looks like. And it feels just like the Master Chrome in Molted Gold as far as like texture of formula. But look at it. Ooh, girl. And then when you blend it out, it does have like such a beautiful sheen. I haven't worn it yet. I've just played with it a little bit. But I'm really excited for that. So that is for sure the highlight we're going to pull. And then I'm panning a highlight. So, um, what else do I want? What have I been thinking about? I have the palettes here. Um, do I want a palette? I've rotated things pretty regularly that there isn't anything that it's been like a, a long time since I've used. Alright, let's go with this. This is NARS Orgasm Blush. I actually haven't used this one in a while. Um, so another peach blush to use for the week. And I think that will look nice with the Maybelline Rose Gold 
highlight. So, I think I want one more. I mean, I know it's only a week, but. Dude. Do you know which one's calling my attention? Right here. This is Milani Romantic Rose 01. Um, yeah, I don't think I've pulled this one in a while either. Milani's released a lot of new products. Those eyeshadow palettes kind of have my attention. And Morphe's new, like, 12 pan. I don't own anything from Morphe, but um, their orange-toned one, it's, like, calling me in. I'm going to be strong. But I'm like, I see you. I see what you're doing over there. Um, <laughs> but there we go. We're going to pull that. And then I think that's it for here. Um, so many beautiful things that I could pull. But I I have some ideas for like themed baskets. So those will be coming up. And some of the products I'm thinking about pulling right now are also ones I'm thinking about for those themes. So we're going to be good for here and go down to eyes. Some weeks I just know exactly what to pull from here, and some weeks I'm like, no clue. <laughs> but actually, someone was just, uh, I've been watching so many like palette declutters, makeup declutters, and so NYX Avent Pop is one somebody was just um, talking about in their declutter, and they kept it. And they were talking about how much they liked it, and I'm like, you know what, I like that too. So this is. Um, I feel focus, focus, focus. This is Nouveau Chic right here. And this one is, this is nice. It's like a cool toned purple tint eyeshadow palette. And I haven't done purple eyes in a while, but... This is really nice quality. I really enjoy using it. And I like that it has mattes like this cream color and this peach color. Um, and then these, like the brown and this deep purple. And then there's a good assortment of like shimmers in here as well. So I haven't, when was the last time I pulled this guys? It's been a minute. So let me go ahead and grab that for sure. And then, you know, I have my Maya Mia that I try to work in a few times a week. Um, is there anything else? Let me go ahead and pull in. This is Urban Decay Single, and this one is in Sin. And I really wonder, I know they have like a sin, well I own it, right? Yeah, they have a sin highlight and this sin eyeshadow, but are they similar? That is the question. So here is the highlight, here is the single, and not even close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not even close. I'll, I'll still swap. The top one is the highlight, and the bottom one is the eyeshadow. And if you swatch them, yeah, they're not. One's more yellow tone, and one is more pink tone. I'm curious if the single looks good as a face highlight, so I'm going to pull it to use on the eyes and on the cheek just to do a little experimenting, and then, um, what, oh, Riff, yes, let me pull Riff too. this is another one that is semi-regular, um, in my collection, I don't know how much I'll use these singles, but I really want to play with them. I didn't realize this had shimmer in it when I bought it. I thought it was like a matte. And it just has like a little bit of sheen to it. But it is really pretty for sure. I wonder if that could be a bronzer. <laughs> that project panner in me is like, what else could I do with this product other than what it says it's for? <laughs> and that is going to be everything. So let me put this basket together and see if we need anything else to add to it. 
Alright guys, here is the final basket. We are full. <laughs> Somehow that happened without me even realizing it. So we definitely don't need to add anything to it. Um, but here are bronzers, blush, highlight in both of these containers. Primers just sitting on top of like these singles and uh, concealers and whatnot. My gimme brow, of course. Then we have these two larger uh, drugstore items right here. The foundation, mascaras, and my palettes. And of course, my hourglass is always front and center. And please like, comment, Subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!